as we keep going today to discuss the next element that was, that was pretty heavy at this retreat that no one really planned on, and that was the rain. So we have the rain. Now, our team, as we approached Thursday, man, we kept looking at the forecast. I think most people were looking at the forecast like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go to this. It's like 90% chance of rain the whole time. In fact, the last forecast when I finally like let go, it was starting to rain Thursday at 5, and it was going to rain until Saturday at 10 a.m., I was like, okay, that's a funny joke. All the whole time we're there, right? Because I kept praying for God to stop the rain. God, you know what we have planned this week. We, I need you to stop the rain. And then it was like the next day, okay, all right, can we just stop the rain on Friday? If you'll just like Thursday and Saturday, but clear it for Friday, I'll take that. It's fine. We can figure out the luggage getting wet. It's fine. And then you wake up Thursday morning and I'm like, and now it's like 95% rain on Saturday. I'm like, hey, what about the showing up? What happened to that, right? I'm praying and praying. And so I finally gave in and decided there's some, there's some significance to the rain that we're supposed to get this weekend. So it's time to just embrace it all, right? It was a messy bun kind of weekend, hat day the whole time. So it was rain, rain, rain. So as I started to shift my perspective, because what God does is he's like, yeah, your plans are so cute. Can you move out of the way so I can actually work here? Great, thank you. So I'm like, I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna go with the rain. Let me research some rain biblical significance. And you know what I found is, not really rocket science, but if you start thinking about it on a deeper level, you see the significance pretty quickly when you start digging that the rain ends drought. And the rain also brings life. At the same time, it's ending a drought, it's bringing life to those dark, cracked, dusty, dry places of our lives that we desperately need to hear from God in. So I want you to look at this verse that I found in Isaiah 45, eight. It says, let the clouds send down showers of deliverance. Let the earth absorb it so salvation may grow and deliverance may sprout up along with it. So what, I, I see three key words there in that verse. I see deliverance, I see salvation, I see growth. So if I take a look at that verse and, and I think, may God wants to bring some deliverance this weekend. God wants to bring some salvation. He wants to bring some growth because really what is our faith unless we're willing to grow it, right? How is it possible that we get all the way to our 30s and 40s and we realize we've never really grown in our faith? Because just attending here and just feeling good in worship isn't enough. It's being proactive to follow after God and know his voice and know his character and, and watch him lift us up, ask us to walk in obedience and, and break the chains that bind us. That's what personal growth is.